wonderful. I think it's great for crew, great for the railway. It's great for everybody, really, because you need the capacity on the railway. It's not just about speed and that. We just need more trains, get them off the roads. It'll clearly reduce journey times. It would be nice to have, like, to be known for something that we can be really proud of us. To boost that up. The railways will play a role in, in hopefully regenerating the area. So, but with new jobs and you know the the, the type of economy that will build that will build a future. Way forward. There's no point for pink. Keep on looking back. We travel on the train all the time, and it's so comfortable. You can do what you like, can't you? You can work, you can read, you can eat, anything. So it's got to be better than a car and safer. And this opens up a lot more of the country for people to travel to work. If it's British made, I think it's really, really good because there's so many things these days are farmed off to other countries. It's time we get things British for a change. Look at the stats of the car use in the UK, how it's gone up. Um, I think in about 1990 there was about 20 million cars in the UK. Now they're saying it's about 32, 33. It's gone up about five, by about five million in the last 10 years. I think that's something else that potentially improving the rail links could, uh, could address. The roads they are gonna get busier and busier and busier. So train travel is so comfortable, so good. We use it all the time anyway. Technology's moved on and the easiest way to deliver a new railway is to deliver a new railway and that's what HS2 does. When people use it, HS2, and uh, there's lots more residential being built around crew, like uh, so more people will be moving in, and that'll help me maybe set up a business. We just need a massive investment in the railways. You know, the motorways are not the answer. Yeah.